Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in the beautiful Nashville studios today. And I've got something I want to talk to you about for your G43X, which is, of course, a Glock 43X, one of the hottest selling guns here in America today because it's uh, smaller, slimline, easy to carry, uh, has a 10 round magazine, and it shoots soft for a small gun. So it's really, really popular, and uh, we sell you know, just about every one we get. Uh, and for good reason. Uh, I always look at this and I think, well, what can we do to make it better? And one of the things that I've noticed on the on the 43X, if I shoot it natively like such, um, is I don't really get a full grip on it. And I've got a fairly large hand, but not you know overly large. But you can see if I just point the gun this way, you'll see my wrist and uh, excuse me, my hand doesn't quite get a full purchase on it, and my my pinky is just about halfway on. So the problem with that, as we shoot the gun vibrates and you know even if you have the best grip and you're really you know using that left hand to clutch on and, and to press that right hand on it uh, there is a tendency to fall off the gun a little bit on the back side as well as even that that pinky kind of slipping off the front side and that affects your grip which then affects your accuracy it's really that simple you know i mean the um, accuracy really starts with your grip you know if you can present the gun in a consistent manner the grip is consistent, your, your accuracy is going to be consistent. But if your grip starts to fail uh, in multiple, multiple rapid shooting, uh, your accuracy is going to fail. So we came up with a plus two. Now this is really cool because it gives you plus two shots. Magazine extension that also gives you a better grip. It's one of our double diamond products, and check this out. So basically, this is how it looks. All of a sudden now, I've got a much better purchase on the rear or palm strike of my hand. But also, I can really get into that with the left hand and not have anything falling off. So I really like this concept. It gives us two extra rounds and a much better grip. That said, let me go ahead and show you how this thing installs and some of the options that are available for it because it's pretty cool. So you're going to have a standard magazine, right? Uh, standard G43X magazine is 10 rounds. It's a single stack. We're going to need to take the base plate off and install the plus two magazine extension. And this is what you get. You know, basically you get the Allen wrench and screw. Uh, you get the extension itself, the plus two extension made out of aluminum here, right here in the United States of America. <laughs> And then, of course, uh, this is the puck. And what's really cool about the puck is it does come in different colors. I've got uh, uh, two colors available to look at today, but we've got it in all six of our standard uh, anodized colors. Um, the puck helps keep it on the magazine, keep the extension on the magazine, but also you can mix and match these, and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Now, this one that I showed you, already done, has the red and red. Because of that, I'm going to go ahead and install now the red and silver. And we sell the pucks separately, all right? So uh, that's just an added feature if you're into, uh, you know, kind of color coordinating or, or identifying your magazines at a, at a glance. Like I said, the first step here is to take the base plate, magazine base plate, off of the magazine. And that can be accomplished in a couple ways. If you have a punch, you can put the punch inside here. Press the spring down a little bit and push it off. Um, it's possible, and uh, you know I've done it a million times. I've been a million punches uh, as well because uh, you know it takes a little bit of force there. So we uh, a long time ago developed what we call the MDT, it was the magazine disassembly tool. It's you know like sliced bread, the best thing in the whole world because it allows you to take the magazine base plate off of the magazine a lot easier by simply using uh, this little post right here, put it into the hole of the magazine, and now it's kind of like a can opener. So once you get it locked in there, it can work on you know, any of the Glock magazines. Once you lock it in there, just kind of press down on it, and off comes the base plate, just like that. Pretty easy. I mean, it, the leverage action makes it so much easier. This, of course, is aluminum, so it's not going to break. Uh, we also make those right here in Nashville in our machine shop, just about you know, 100 feet away from here. So it's pretty cool. It's an item that I'm very proud of. It's the uh, MDT, the Magazine Disassembly Tool makes it really easy to take your base plates off, clean your magazines, change out the uh, different uh, pieces. So now that I've got the uh, base plate off just a little bit, 
I want to make sure that I understand, and you understand, there's a spring in here, remember, magazine spring, that's captured by that base plate, and it's under pressure. So you got to be very careful not to just pull that off and have that thing fly away, uh, one hit you in the face or hit you in the eyes or anybody else close by. And you also don't want to lose the insert plate, which is the uh, little black plastic plate right there, uh, because if it goes flying away, you may never find it again. And we do sell insert plates. <laughs> so, uh, you know, people call and say, hey, I lost my insert plate because it went flying away. And uh, so you want to capture that with your thumb is what I'm kind of getting to right here. So I'm going to put my, my thumb over top of the base. And as I pull off the base plate, kind of push it off my thumb and pull it off with my uh, hand, I'm also going to capture the insert plate and the spring with my thumb, just like that. And then I can release it and uh, control it as I release it. And there it is. There's the uh, insert plate and uh, there's the base plate. And we sell all these pieces individually, by the way. We sell colorized base plates as well. We sell plus fours, we sell now the plus two, and that's what we're talking about right now, to replace this one here. And this is, uh, I think, a really cool option because it lends itself to for concealed carry because it's smaller than our plus four. So we do have a plus four, and the plus two allows you to add two extra rounds. Now, what we've got to do is we've got to use our base plate because, you know, this is or the insert plate because this allows us to uh, take the magazine out. You can see the insert plate has a little nub on it or a little post on it, and that will go into the hole that's on the bottom of this plus two extension. So we're just going to lay that in there and let it, let it marry up to that hole. Just like that. Okay? Now, what we're going to do from there, we've got to push that down, make sure it's snug and all that good stuff, is we're going to now uh, basically put this here, capture that, and go ahead and push this on here. You may find a little resistance with these... Um, little tabs here, these uh, little plastic tabs right here that help keep the plastic on there uh, because the plastic can flex. Because this is aluminum, it will not flex as much, and so hence uh, sometimes I'd like to shave those off. So here's how we do that. We basically take a very sharp knife, and we go ahead and we will get right on top of that at the edge there and just kind of move the blade back and forth a little bit, just a little. And remember, it's always about the movement of the blade as much as applying pressure. Once I do that, then I'm just going to shave it a little bit more. Okay, and I'll shave it. And again, it's all about the movement of the blade. So you have to push the blade a little bit and move it. And there is the tab basically just popped right off. And now I'll do it on the other side. So it's pretty easy. Again, I'm going to score it down the top here. And again, I always like to tell people, you know, you want to have the blade moving because that's the power of the blade. Uh, you know, it, it has to have some motion to it. Same thing here. Coming now, I'm going to go ahead and just get shave it. And there it goes again. And I just pop that one off. So those two little tabs just came out right off. Now that's going to make it a lot easier to capture this onto the... Um, uh, the magazine itself. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to use the same exact spring because it's only a plus two. I can use the same spring and uh, I'll get it kind of started here. Push it down, get it started up here like so. And oops, let me get myself lined up here real quickly. Okay, there it is. And once we do that, we capture it and there it is. Now, You'll see uh, that it could live like this, but uh, with shooting and, you know, if you drop the magazine, this thing may pop off. So we've developed this little puck system that we like, and I'm going to install a different color because I kind of like this two-tone concept. So I'm going to put the silver on that. I'm going to take the screw and the Allen wrench, and I'm just going to go ahead and lock it in place. Now you'll notice we have two holes here. For this application, we're going to use this hole out here on the farthest uh, side, the secondary hole. Uh, this first hole is if you're going to use it with one of our EDC um, uh, magwells, and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But right now, I'm going to capture this guy right here. Oops. And 
You'll see the installation is a fairly simple process. Okay. Okay. So now I have basically captured this guy in place, the puck onto the magazine body. A couple more turns and it'll be tight. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? That's a nice look. Now, check this out. And that's what it looks like on your gun. Boom, boom, boom. But more importantly, it allows me to get a very strong grip. And then look at how that little pinky on the left hand has a place to rest now. So the other thought side is that I've got a full purchase here on this whole palm, the butt of my palm that really allows me to drive the gun. So I really like this plus two a lot. We just got it done. Uh, we've got it available in a variety of different colors. Uh, it makes a ton of sense. Uh, gives you two extra rounds. It's not too big for concealed carry. Uh, it, um, uh, it is available in, you know, I guess we have six different colors. You can mix and match your colors. Of course, we've got black and blue and gold and red and silver and pink. So uh, those are the colors that are available. Uh, it's uh, a strong item for us. I know it's going to be a big seller. Uh, I love the fact that you can mix and match the pucks. Like I said, the pucks are sold separately. Uh, you buy it and you get the puck with the red, but if you wanted a, a silver puck, you'd buy that separately. That's what I meant. So it comes with the puck in the sander color, but then you buy an extra one if you want to mix and match, or you can buy a blue one and a red one and mix and match those that way, whichever you want to do. It's a great item. Like I said, it's going to give you two extra rounds and give you a better grip, and it's going to improve your shooting uh, because it gives you that full-size grip uh, with the G43X from Glock. Now, I mentioned earlier about the uh, EDC magwell that we do, and this is uh, actually the gun I've been carrying lately. This is my G43X with our, uh, really, the raw parts on it. You know, I'm the, uh, uh, I'm the tester, you know, and I, um, uh, I've been testing these for a while. So this EDC magwell, uh, gives you uh, a, a better grip as well. And that's really what I've always been striving to do with this G43X is get a better grip. Uh, it, it, perfect for your little pinky, perfect for your palm. Uh, but now if you wanted that uh, extra two rounds and you want to use our plus two extension, you need to take the puck off and just do, use it without the puck. Now we include another screw with it that helps to capture the... Um, uh, the piece on, and um, that'll allow you to uh, insert it. It will not fit with the puck. Uh, just That's just what way things go. So you'll put the other screw right into that first hole, and then it'll fit up there like that. And that's not a bad look either. It, again, it does really the same thing. The EDC Magwell pushes your fingers up, but this uh, extension gives your left hand, your off hand, as well as your palm, a little bit more meat to push on. So I'm letting me go. This, of course, is the uh, Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in Nashville. Now, if you ever are in Nashville, I invite you to come down and see us. We really have a, an amazing store. The retail store is fantastic. Uh, the shooting ranges are different. You know, we don't shoot down lanes here. We've got shooting rooms, and the shooting rooms allow you to shoot at multiple targets in multiple directions. Uh, you know, we've got uh, a USPSA match we do every other, uh, well, I guess one Saturday a month. Uh, we do a low light shooting uh, here. We, we turn the lights off. People, you know, use the lasers and lights. Guys come in with a full uh, uh, headgear and, and uh, their infrared stuff, and it's pretty phenomenal. So if you're looking to shoot, looking to improve your shooting, uh, looking to see uh, everything about Glock, this is the Glock store here in Nashville. Uh, we're about two miles from the airport. Love to have you come in and visit. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.